Welcome back to you, here again, going to vacuum the living room carpet with the Shawback 4 gallon quiet super power plus after I took the motor apart and cleaned all the fans. And that's the cat, you know, that's getting a fit in the background. Thanks a lot, screwing up my videos. Anyhow, don't worry about it. Here's Compact C8, like I was saying, I took the motor apart, cleaned the fan, checked the bearing, and there was a lot of dust from 13 years of not being clean. I'm surprised it's still around after all those years of sucking up water. Ain't dust and dirt, you know, normal stuff. So, I have to do it too. We've got to plug her in, move things around, and give her a go. Has the fresh bags, the clean filters, attachment cavities with all the bells and whistles on it. So, what we do, let's get her right out of and get this dark door out of the way. And now the pass the down. I'm going to start the vacuum. Okay, cord will take the bell. So just give me one second. That'll be right that way down. There we go. That was a good one. So, I'm going to start the vacuum here. I'm going to start the vacuum here. I'm going to start the vacuum here. Whoa. Hey, Nicole's going to think about that. Like I don't have enough trouble. First of all, I switch the vacuum on, then I'm going to plug the power head and do it with a girl. As you can see here, it's a little bit louder than the older one. It runs a lot smaller than it used to. It doesn't have the bearing on. Now, I'm going to do it with a on the carpet, but I haven't seen it in three days. Because the baby could not by grooming the carpet with a two-row ten-row brush row there. I'm just leaving the bearing of the power head and change the belt. It was very good, got lots of stuff in the of the bed for a while. So. I didn't go in and do it on carpet just to give you a demonstration of how it sounds, how it works, and everything. If you're wondering how I did it, just like you see there with a power head. Just go to my channel, Compact C Day, no messages, all, all small letters, and you will see how I made my call back with a power head. Now I'm just going across the carpet here, going my thing, and it's doing a wonderful job. And it's in here to let the machine do the work. It goes slow, take the time, and don't rush anything. But if you do it, you will pick up a mouthful of dust and dirt. As you can see, it's got the headlight on the power head. By the way, the power there, the three highs adjustment, that's medium, that's slow, medium, and hard. Right now, I am running it on this carpet all work, and I'm going to do the floors now. And yes, it has the flow through too. I'm just going to go over here on the floor and do my things to do a quick demo of how it goes. Here we go. This here is a 14 inch wide nozzle, which was very great for my 12 inch wide towels, made quick work of the work. Made quick work of this job, I mean. Now for a little 
bit of dust. Yes, it has a dusty brush. I'm turning it here because if I turn it like this, I can't really clean it all that well. You see, it's at an angle. So I turn it around like that and I'm ready to go. And it has a suction control also. It does a great job at dusting, I'll tell you that. It has a two horsepower motor. And as you can hear, it doesn't have any battery noise or anything when I shut it off. So there she is. The shot back 4 gallon with aqua head. I hope you all enjoy that. Now let's have a look inside the machine. Over here, you can see I ran the cord over under the handle. I took it off and passed the cord underneath so it wouldn't be in the way. You can see it's got a clean filter. I took this bottom cover completely off, exposed the pan, and blow some air to it with another vacuum cleaner I have, the Bissell, and clean the fan in this one and improve the performance a lot. And the bins will be clean, that's like the bells and whistle. Here's the upholstery tool you didn't see me using in the video. Also the rug nozzle, which I also use for wet pickup, works very good. It's also 14 inch wide. This one, which is about 9 inches wide. And all those attachments can be purchased at Walmart, Ware, Kent, and also Walmart, and Canadian Tire retail store. Here's the crevice tool and the tool caddy that I've added on the back of the machine here. And just holding it there. And I'm already the side falls over. Ain't that nice? Anyhow, just uh, holding it here with the straps. It doesn't come from this machine, that's why I'm holding it with the strap. So I'm going to put it back together before she falls apart again on me. There like so. Snap right in front. Snap in the back, and there you go. So that was the shop van, four gallon, no blower port, no drain plug, with power head, with and drive pickup, two horsepower motor. So don't forget to comment and subscribe. This is Compact C8 over and out.